Did you know Australia has more kangaroos than people? Yes, you heard it right. In the land down under, these iconic marsupials hold the majority. But what makes Australia such a kangaroo haven? There are a few contributing factors. One is the kangaroo's impressive reproductive habits. Kangaroo females or does have the ability to pause their pregnancies in times of drought or food scarcity, ensuring their offspring are born in the best possible conditions. Another factor is the lack of natural predators. With the extinction of the thylacine or Tasmanian tiger, kangaroos have fewer threats to their survival. Lastly, Australia's vast and varied landscapes provide ample suitable habitats for these creatures from arid deserts to lush grasslands. The result? An estimated population of over 50 million kangaroos compared to Australia's human population of just 25 million. So, next time you think of Australia, remember, it's not just people you'll be outnumbered by, it's the kangaroos too. Ever seen a pink lake? Australia's got you covered. Imagine dipping your toes into a bubblegum pink lake surrounded by the vast expanse of the Australian outback. Welcome to Lake Hillier, one of the many pink lakes in Australia. But what gives these lakes their unique rosy hue? The secret lies beneath the surface with a cocktail of high salt content and specific algae and bacteria. These microorganisms known as Dunaliella salina and halobacteria thrive in the salt-saturated waters of the lakes. The Dunaliella salina algae produce a red pigment called beta-carotene, the same pigment that gives carrots their orange color. Meanwhile, the halobacteria, though not really bacteria, have a pinkish-red protein which they use to absorb sunlight and convert it into energy. When these two mix with the high salt content voila, you get a pink lake. The intensity of the pink color can even change depending on the time of day and weather conditions. So fancy a dip in a pink lake, head over to Australia. Two animals that can't walk backward represent Australia, do you know which ones? If you're thinking of the emu and kangaroo then you're absolutely correct. These creatures, both unique to Australia, are depicted on the country's coat of arms. But why these two animals you may ask? Well, it's all about symbolism my friend. The emu, a large flightless bird and the kangaroo, an iconic marsupial, have a fascinating trait in common. Neither can walk backward. This unique characteristic symbolizes a nation that's always moving forward, progressing and never regressing. The emu, with its strong legs, embodies the Australian spirit of endurance and resilience. On the other hand, the kangaroo, known for its forward leaps, represents the country's ambition and aspiration to progress. So the next time you see the Australian coat of arms, remember the profound message it carries. With the kangaroo and emu, Australia surely knows how to keep moving forward. Australia? A desert? Yes, but not just any desert, it's the land of camels. Now I bet that's not the first thing that comes to mind when you think of Australia, is it? Yet it's true. Australia boasts the world's largest population of wild camels. Quite a plot twist, isn't it? But how did these desert dwellers end up down under? Well, back in the 19th century, explorers introduced camels to Australia to assist with transportation across the arid interior. Fast forward to the present and these resilient creatures have not only survived but thrived in the harsh Australian outback. With no natural predators and an environment similar to their native habitats, camels found a new home in Australia. They've become so well acclimated that their population has skyrocketed into the hundreds of thousands. So, if you ever miss the Middle East, you know where to find your humpbacked friends. Big pineapple, big banana, big merino, what's with Australia and big things? Welcome to the land down under where the tradition of constructing big things is as Aussie as Vegemite on toast. This unique trend began in the 1960s with the creation of the Big Banana in Coffs Harbour, New South Wales. Since then, it's ballooned into an all-out Aussie phenomenon with over 150 giant objects scattered across the country. These colossal attractions range from the whimsical, like the Big Penguin in Tasmania, to the downright puzzling, like the Big Bench in Broken Hill. They serve as quirky markers of local culture, industry and history, capturing the imaginations of both locals and tourists alike. Some might consider them kitsch but they're undeniably a part of Australia's charm. So next time you're in Australia, keep an eye out for these oversized oddities. In Australia, size does matter, at least when it comes to roadside attractions. Ever wondered what the Sydney Opera House sales were made from? Let's set sail on a journey of discovery. The iconic sails of the Sydney Opera House, one of the 20th century's most famous and distinctive buildings, are made from a unique material. It's not fabric as one might imagine, but rather, concrete. To give the sails their distinctive white gleam, the concrete is covered with over 1 million self-cleaning glossy white and matte cream tiles. 
These tiles were a result of a collaboration between Danish architect Jorn Utzon and a Swedish tile company. Together they developed an innovative solution that would withstand the harsh Australian sun while maintaining the building's aesthetic appeal. The construction process, a true masterpiece of architectural design and engineering, took over 14 years, from 1959 to 1973. Even today, the sales continue to inspire and captivate, a testament to human creativity and ingenuity. The Sydney Opera House, a testament to creativity, innovation, and a whole lot of concrete tiles. Trees that sting, only in Australia. Now let's journey into the heart of Australia's rainforests, where an unsuspecting encounter with the leafy giants can leave you with more than just a leafy souvenir. The stinging trees, or dendrochnide moroids as they're known scientifically, are no ordinary trees. These flora pack a potent punch of neurotoxins, a defensive mechanism that's as fascinating as it is formidable. When you brush against the leaves or stem, tiny hair-like structures break off and embed into your skin, releasing their neurotoxins. The pain has been described as a mix of a severe burn and an electric shock, lasting for hours, even days. And it's not just humans who need to beware. Even animals have been found to be susceptible to these stinging trees. So, next time you're in Australia's rainforests, remember to admire the greenery from a safe distance. Remember, in Australia, even the trees can get you. Wombats, the only animals known to produce cube-shaped poop. Yes, you heard that right. Now you might wonder why this peculiar trait exists. It's all down to the wombat's unique digestive process. Eating a primarily vegetarian diet, wombats have an incredibly slow metabolism, taking up to two weeks to completely digest their food. This slow digestion process allows the feces to become extremely compact and surprisingly, cube-shaped. But why cubes? Well, wombats use their droppings as territorial markers. The cube shape prevents the droppings from rolling away, ensuring they stay exactly where the wombat leaves them. The hard edges and flat faces of the cubes give them a better grip on the uneven terrain of the wombat's environment. This is a fantastic example of nature's ingenuity using geometry for practical purposes. So when in Australia, keep an eye out for cubed signs of a wombat's presence. Australia is home to the longest fence in the world, longer than the Great Wall of China. Yes, you heard it right. Known as the Dingo Fence or Dog Fence, this barrier stretches an incredible 5,614 kilometers from the eastern coast of Queensland, all the way to the cliffs of the Nullarbor Plain on the southern coast. That's longer than the entire journey from New York to Los Angeles. Built in the late 19th century, this fence was designed to keep dingoes, Australia's wild dogs, away from fertile land. It's a testament to the country's ingenuity and determination to protect its agricultural interests. This man-made marvel, incredibly, surpasses the length of the Great Wall of China, which measures approximately 5,500 kilometers. So, while the Great Wall might have more fame and historical grandeur, Australia's dingo fence takes the cake when it comes to sheer length. Who needs a wall when you've got a fence like this? A prime minister who went for a swim and never returned, only in Australia. Let's dive into the story of Harold Holt, Australia's 17th Prime Minister. On a sunny day in December 1967, Holt, an avid swimmer, waded into the rough waters of Cheviot Beach, Victoria, and was never seen again. Despite an extensive search, no trace of Holt was ever found. His disappearance sparked a whirlwind of conspiracy theories. Some speculated he was a Chinese spy who'd been whisked away by a submarine. Others suggested he'd faked his own demise to escape political pressures. The truth most likely, is far less sensational. It's generally accepted that Holt was simply overcome by the turbulent sea. His disappearance however, left a lasting legacy, prompting changes in security protocols for Australian leaders. In Australia history is not just intriguing, it's downright mysterious. What a fascinating journey through the land down under. We've discovered that Australia is not just a country, but a continent full of wonders and oddities. From the overpopulation of kangaroos, outnumbering human inhabitants, to the surreal beauty of the Pink Lakes, Australia never ceases to amaze. Navigating through the symbolism of the emu and kangaroo on the coat of arms, and the surprising fact of having the world's largest population of camels, we've glimpsed the rich tapestry of Australia's wildlife. The tradition of constructing big things and the iconic sails of the Opera House speak volumes about the country's distinctive culture. Australia's natural world astonished us with the stinging trees and the peculiar nature of wombat poop. 
We've marveled at the vastness symbolized by a fence longer than the Great Wall of China, and were intrigued by the mysterious disappearance of a prime minister. From kangaroos to pink lakes, stinging trees to disappearing prime ministers, Australia is indeed a land of wonders. Until next time, mates.